Okay, for this next problem, we're going to take a class A. We're going to borrow three bits, or let's say in this case, instead of borrowing three bits, I said I need at least eight, well, I'll need at least six networks, or provide or optimize, or give me, provide for at least six networks. Well, if I need six networks, you got to take six and convert it into its binary digits. And that's going to be binary 110. All right, I have to re review some other notes on that if not sure how to do that. And then you count those digits up. 110 in binary is equal to six in, in decimal. So if I need six networks, I need to borrow three bits, the one, the one, and the zero. So that's going to put me in the table three, which is 224 for my subnet mass, 32 for my range increment. All right, what do we do now? Well, we know 224 is my new subnet mass number. <coughs> Start with zero. Add a 32 because that's my range increment. Remember 224 and 32? All right, so you see how that's incremented by 32? Increment means change. All the way down to the, down to the top number, which is 224. Now, how does the rest of the table, table shake out? Well, the host, which is the from and the two, or the low and the high, uh, you keep the same network numbers here. In each case, two, those two network numbers are the same for the low or for the from. You just drop a one right in there. All right. For the broadcast, it's the next network number, which is 32 minus one, which is 31. Plunk down those 255s, a pair of them. For the high or the or the low or the two range. Uh, these two octets are the same as the broadcast in each case. C63.255, 63.255, and then you just drop a 254 in there, which is 255 minus 1. A little different than the class C and the B, but this is how it looks. Looks, Okay, keep that up, for, up there for a minute. This gives me, uh, these networks here are valid because you can't use the first and the last. If you count them, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I borrowed three bits. Two to the third is eight. Minus two is six. All right, that's my six in there I can use. What if I'd borrow four bits? Hmm, borrowed four bits or needed 14 networks. Convert 14 into binary, which is one, 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 zero. That's four bits, and it's the number is 240 for the subnet mask, 16 for the range increment. And then what you'd have is a, a no, another row in between each of these. Okay. All right. How do I know that? Well, I will show you. There's going to be a lot of networks. Not enough to probably fit on the screen. Let me see what I can do here. Yeehaw, that's a ton of networks. Let's see if I can minimize, make this font a little smaller. Didn't do a whole lot of good, but so. All right, borrow four bits. I need 14 networks. 14 is 1110 in binary. Now, the reason I count the number of bits, including that zero, in, in the 1110 is because, in that 1110 binary equivalent of 14, is because when I borrow bits, I cannot, I got to borrow all four of them. I can't just say, you know, don't take the last one. Cause so I'm, I'm actually borrowing this one, this one, this one, and this one. That's four of them. All right. So two to the fourth is 14. All right. I'm sorry, two to the fourth is 16 minus two is 14. All right. Well, how does the network shake out? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 240 is my subnet mass number, and there you go. 16 is my range increment, and I told you there was going to be one in between each of these, and there is. 16, 32, 48, and just kind of look at the pattern there. It's the same as the other one, same pattern, same idea. Okay, all the way down. And I'll just go to the end and sit there for a minute. And that's how that looks. Okay. Scrolling back up a tad bit. Okay. Well, that's borrowing four bits and three bits. Six X, you know, and one after the other in this little lesson. Um, thank you very much for, for Class A. Uh, copyright to
2008, Side Matters. Thank you.